Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. There's something off with her color. Be looking. You look like you you are a gangster. Welcome to today. Today is minus four degrees. This morning it's freezing, and I've got some new things to try with Penny. Right, we are here to do the the work. Wait, let me see if Dad. Put, wait, I want to give Willow some of the magnesium too. Let's give Willow a tiny bit. We never gave it to Gracie. Gracie? And she calmed down. Got it? Didn't really calm down that much. Just one little scoop. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying, give Willow some, some magnesium. I cannot vlog and carry stuff. So watch what my horse does when I bring her her food. Watch. As soon as I open the door. Oh, she's really hungry today. Usually she backs. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Who left scissors in here? That was me. I know I did it. But usually she backs right to the back. She'd be sleeping last night. You should be so happy because you'd be sleeping. You see how she's not like super ferocious with her food though? I mean, she enjoys her food, but she's a, she's a lady, you guys. She is a lady. What's happening with her? She's good? Good pony. Good pony. I love, I love that they all sleep in their stall. That's amazing. So you guys know that Penny's in heat and she's not very neat. I she's love how, um, I, my horses are cleaning up this year. Yeah. Storm champion, Chino champion. Taking turns. Storm Valentino. Yeah, and you know what though? I keep saying to people, people keep saying that. Two years ago. Chino normally wins half, except for that show. Two years ago, Gabby showed Finn his first year of showing so that Sophie wouldn't die. She was so was super. Yeah, I mean, it was like a craziness when, if you guys didn't see, there are videos where Finn is just crazy at the show. And Gabby took one for the team and she showed him and she won nothing that year. She won, what did you win? I won one second place. Yeah, she won on one Finn. second place on Finn and the whole season. Like, it was a wild season for her. And sometimes I feel like that's what karma has. That's karma, you guys. When you do something good for someone and you don't expect anything in exchange, Sometimes good things happen to you. And I think that's what's happening with Gabby. All right, so let me show you what is happening. Warm washcloths, because I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, it's dried now, so you can't really see. Last night it was terrible. You can see on her leg there, she's all covered in pee. She's in heat, and she just keeps spraying pee down her legs, and it's just awful. So Fiona told me to put some Vaseline on her after I wash it because she could get acid burns. So I'm gonna do that right now. Super, super wet claws here because, I know, I feel like she trusts me a little though. Because she is covered in this. Like I can't even brush it off of her. That's how dirty she is. Like in the camera it looks like dark blood. Yeah, there's probably some blood in there. Yeah, she just, Pees everywhere. She probably is like, oh, thank you. Thank you. It feels so good. And then after I leave her, she's probably going to be like, let me spray everywhere again so the boys know I'm here. There are no boys here, Missy. Oh, so, oh. you know that side area of our house? Yeah. Guess what I dreamed. What? That the boys were just walking around there eating grass. Oh, that's not good. You're telling me things like that. Well, this is really working, these warm, this warm cloth. Good thing Fiona told me because look at, I don't know if you guys can see, there's already a cut. And all that is like from pee, all that staining. She's happy, she's like, yes, touch my bum, touch it, <laughs> clean it up. All right, well, you need a brushing. I should do that before I put you out there. She gets anxious when the, pup, when the ponies go out before her. And even though she doesn't like people touching her face, she knows, like... Such a good pony. And you got pee everywhere. What the heck? Hey, don't you even try it. You are going, but not yet. Normally she doesn't ever try and go out the door. I just want to get this off. So I covered her in Vaseline today. Probably not the warmest thing, and it's cold out. I want to ride today really bad. Yeah, it feels good, huh? You know when she's in heat? Yeah, I've already ridden her in heat and she was fine. 
Uh, yeah, she was a little crazy, but she did great. I need a new camera. Let me see your nose. I know. She wants to go out with her. Yeah, she wants to go out with her friends. Okay. You want to take her out, Sophie? Sure. Just let her run out. No, I'm not letting her run out. She is amazing with her groundwork. And I want it to stay that way. Yeah, and treats. she's no, even without treats. She's so perfect. She doesn't like she lets you do everything to her. She's just a such an agreeable grouchy mare. She is grouchy. grouchy. She's grouchy. She's a mare. She always has to she's the kind of mare that is like it does before people do it. mean things to her and she takes it. But inside she's like, I Not see what you're happy. doing and I hate you. Like she always has to let you know. Oh, where'd we get that? I won this. Oh. Reserve champion store. We could put that on your coat. Okay. She's good. She doesn't ever... I say walk on. She does a lot of verbal commands. Did anybody throw her hay? Does she have hay? No. Even though she was ridden by a child before, I don't feel like she really knows a lot about children. I really feel like the ponies love Gabby, and I can see now it's Gabby that's the overfeeder. Um, so some of you guys want me to take lessons. The plan is for me to take lessons. I just have to, you're okay. I just have to do it in my own time. Like I have to figure it, it out still. I sent a message to somebody that I know would be a great trainer and help me with some stuff with Penny. And Brandon's going to help me. Brandon doesn't ride gated horses. He doesn't know anything about gated horses. He's still going to help me. I have to drive her in someplace to take lessons. So my lessons are going to be few and far between. So I have to plan them. So things just have to happen in sequence. I can't just jump out there, get a new horse, get where I need to. Like Things just have to happen. And I want her to settle in a little. So, And the geese are flying overhead as I say that. And people are saying that geese flying overhead can be a good, good sign. And I feel like everything I've done with this mare so far has been a good sign. So anyway, that is the plan. I am going to take lessons, just waiting my time. We are going to do chores and get this place cleaned. Today's a riding day with the boys and I'm going to ride Penny. Like I have to ride Penny. We did so well two days ago. Like I want to ride her at least every other day, even if it's in the arena. So it is windy and cold and spooky out there. I really want to ride outside. I like it better, but if I have to ride inside, I will. So today I'm absolutely going to ride. That's how you know you've got the right horse is when no matter what is on your agenda, you want to ride. I want to ride. I want to ride every day. All right. So we got a mysterious package in the mail today and we all fight over who's going to open it. Oh, is it the leggings? Oh, somebody sent it to us. <gasps> okay, from what Craig and Elizabeth. These? Me. Sophie. So a friend sent us these. And I got Christmas ones. And then there's books. It's a present for you for your birthday, Gabby, from your godfather. My birthday was like, like at the beginning. I know, but you know what men are like. I love that. That's so pretty. Pink. Molly, it's your Cali. It's gold. Okay, so to explain, ah. Uh, Gabby's godfather sent her a birthday present and it, it and it was these Bibles which I'm so jealous about. This is a devotional Molly's Jesus Calling. I love the store, Christianbooks.com. I love that store. Like I look at their stuff all the time. But it's this adorable um devotional which I'm gonna probably maybe start reading to them. Experience peace in the presence of the Savior. Okay, listen, dude, these are not for you. I it's know. not a dude. Princess, she's very religious. This, oh, your nail is getting sharp. Yeah, anyway. from them, it smells like the book. So, anyway, she got that, and then she got this beautiful Bible. Like, I love Bibles, and you can write in it. And it's kind of bigger writing than the Bible that we already have, the Bibles that I always see, so I could read it. Like, I almost want to steal it from her. It's so pretty. Very, very nice, though. Also, they sent us leggings. Gabby got, she, they let us pick them because his wife sells them. And these are, she's got legs. These are petite. Yours are size petite. 
Oh, mine are not size petite. petite. Mine are I mean, one size. Small French, mine are one size. Yours are probably one size too. Well, that's really thoughtful, I mean, actually. Small and French. Yeah. My I know. size is one size. Yeah, mine are one size too. And I just got plain black because I love them. Same I brand. Super She's got lit. And Gabby, or and Sophie got this this print, which actually is really cute on her. But what else did you get, Gabby? We think we got this. I don't know because it was on the ground. Wait, where was it on the ground? Right there. So, uh, Gabby. I opened my pants with this. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that the $50 came from him, too. I feel like he always gives her $50, but that's so nice that it... What? They're in the pants. It was in the... So this was mine. Kathy Sylvie's like, let me see if Mom's got some. There's pockets? <coughs> yeah. You didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> so you got, you got it? <laughs> yeah, we got $50. Wow, you guys are going to have to thank them. That's so kind. Isn't that so nice? Yes. Back to the yeah, this has been a very amazing month. Like every time that her it's money gets fun. down, it's the busiest spot in the day to make people play with her. Yeah. All right. So let's get ready because we have plans. Sophie gets giddy with money, but we do. We have plans today. We have plans that are gonna keep us away from Molly's our house. Molly's gonna love them. I actually want to go riding. I want to ride my mare today, even if it means I have to ride her when we get back, which might be later. And I'm gonna ride her, you guys. Like that's the thing. I just want to ride her and work on what we did yesterday, what we did the other day. Hi. Hi, girls. Well, hi. Fancy meeting you here. I just give her one little cookie, but she's coming to me all the time now. Yeah, sweet baby. Such a good girl. It's cold, huh? It's freezing out there. All the ponies be wanting some food. Was it cold out there, Penny? Are you warm? Are you warm? Yesterday I taught her to kiss me a little. She gets nervous. Watch. Nope. She's like, no, I will not kiss you. Even though it's the coldest day of the year so far, like even when it snowed when on our trail ride, it was not this cold. It is really cold. One degree it says in my car, but it feels way colder because the wind is just blowing. Even though it's raining like crazy and my heart is in that barn, I wanna go riding. Like I wanna go riding. But being a mom, you guys know what it's like. You have to wait until everybody else's needs are met before you can meet your own needs so so the plan is i have some ribbons from the show to drop off at a friend's house and then i am going to go to the bar we're going to do our thing and then i'm going to come home and even if it's starting to get dark i'll ride and i'll ride inside because i just want to reinforce the things that penny and i were working on the other day before she forgets we also have a molly here we also have miss molly because we decided to do something different and fun with our horses today instead of what we usually do. Okay, so we decided that we we're gonna go for a little trail ride today, get the horses out. Gabby's riding this afternoon with Kaylee, so one horse will stay here and ride this afternoon, and two will go on a trail ride. That's why I brought Molly, because I thought Molly could drag my butt. My favorite thing to do is see where our horses are, and makes me always happy when they're just standing right there. So one is missing. Oakley's at the top of the hill. I thought her was blanket. Okay. Oakley's at the top of the hill. Our little Way herd. over there. All yeah. the matching blankets though. Is yeah, there. all the matching blankets are there. All right, let's see who runs away. Aw, he missed you. Girls had kind of a hard lesson the other day. I haven't posted it yet because we haven't had any room, any time. Like, can't post more than two less two videos a day, I feel like. It's coming up soon, but it definitely was a bit of a hard lesson for them, especially for Sophie. She really banged up her thumb. Look at this. It's pure ice. Like, that's how cold it is? Oh. It's not even really... Not even breaking. That's how cold it is. He gets, he 
Oh my gosh, look at those feet. Come on, let's go. No talking. There will be no talking in the tacking up process today. There will only be working. Today is the day that I want my kids to actually like book it. Get moving. Moving and grooving. I'm a slave driver today. Look at those feet. Oh, I can get a whip. Don't you even wonder. Yeah. Girls were making their Christmas list in their writing today. Oh, I still have like... In their journal. Page. Yeah, they're going to write down their Christmas list and then they're going to print it out on the computer. And you have to get it all. Mm-mm. I will pick some things from your Christmas list. In Canada, Christmas pretty much comes right after I don't Halloween. Know why those were in there, but I've never they? seen them. I don't know. Oh. That's odd. These were in Gabby's tack box, and we did not put them there. I know in the states you guys wait until after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving has to come first before Christmas, but our Thanksgiving is already over. What we wait for is November the 11th, Remembrance Day. Once Remembrance Day is over. Christmas is a game on. Gabby has static electricity today. I'm scared to touch my horse now. Come on, keep going. Fast, fast. The reason we bring Molly, we brought Molly with us, is because she's the best behaved. Like, I can let her go in a big field, and I could just even think the word come to me, and she comes to me. She's a really good puppy. Oh, stay here. You should have taken the towel and wiped them down first, because you still have to do that. At least you'd be holding something dry. It's still the same. So the reason we decided to go on a trail ride, even though it's like the freezing is coldest day of the year, is because, one, other people do it. And so we're going to do it, but also because we've asked like a lot of our horses lately. We had a crazy lesson, like I told you on Friday, then we had a big show on Saturday and I feel like it's time for them to do something fun for them. Time for us to do something fun for them. He's looking at me like, give me some treats. This show is fun. This, this is what he does. He knows that he gets treats when he stands here. <laughs> so he anticipates them. Scabby literally gets up at the so fast. All right, so Gabby is wearing her quarter sheet. How many times have you wore this quarter sheet this year? This is my second time. What happened the first time? Kaylee's father fell off. <laughs> no, don't wear it. No, that's not what happened. What happened the last time you wore it? I loved it. Did your horse buck? Uh, that was only because it was up the hill. Right, we are excited. We are gonna go. Somebody's trying to phone me. I have a camera in one hand, a dog in the other. I don't know. I don't have time for phones. My guess is it's your dad. He always has impeccable timing. He knows when I'm like the most busy. Yeah, the most busy. He knows. And that's when he always calls me. So Sophie likes to be led during on the on the road. Never loved so many butts before. Love me some horsey butts. Looks like Finn's butt is bigger than Storm's, but I guess if you cover half of your butt in dark color, it looks smaller. Holy heck, the grass has grown tall. They can almost cut it again. And it's gonna be warm this week. All right, so I'm letting the beast go. Hold on, wait, sit. Yeah, go ahead. Girls want to do a little bit of trotting. There's the trotting with his grass. Yeah, Storm's comfort blanket is his grass.
there's a problem. I don't like it. All right. Oh so. my God. She used to run behind Finn and through Finn's legs, like underneath Finn. How do I take you seriously when you look like a skeleton? Okay, Storm's good. Storm's all good. All right, are you guys going back again? I'll hold her on a leash. I put the leader up over there so I could actually have grip. Okay. And no, and we're still going down there. All right, Mick, go ahead. There. Yeah, the trail's gorgeous. She could go off the leash. I'll wait. Makes me happy to see the girls. Well, it actually makes me happy to see the boys out on a trail and enjoying themselves. Like I like them to get out and see stuff. There's so much pressure owning horses because you're always having. They always need you. Like they're dependent on everything. They need you for exercise. Although our boys do get exercise in the field, they need you for food and water and exercise and care. Like it's just insane how much responsibility there is in owning horses but it keeps you going it keeps your life moving forward all the time unlike dogs who you could just kind of curl up on the couch with and they'd be fine i want to let her go maybe i should start walking back so she can get off the leash i'm looking for the brakes come join me in the search i think that's what it takes Your turn. Oh, I'm not doing that. One day. After you went a little forward and I saw a big buck coming and I'm like, <laughs> uh yeah, well we have to go because it's supper time. Such a love. Don't worry. I promise. I promised you I'd be back and I would ride you. I taught her how to bite. Oh, hello, pretty penny. I'll tell you that I was really proud of our ride yesterday. A lot of you guys were not. I got a lot of hate on that video. There's a lot of controversy on that hit that video. Some people think that magnesium is a drug. Magnesium is a vital mineral that people need in their body, people and animals. And sometimes when horses are low in it, when horses can be low in it, if they've had pasture all summer with no hay, it's a common thing. So when your horse is acting up a bit, it's normal to try and replace some vitamins and minerals that they could have lost through the forage that they had in the summer. So I know it's confusing, I get it, but saying that we don't deserve to have horses because we're giving them magnesium just makes me feel sad for you. Like, 
I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of the stuff that got said in today's video. But one thing I do know and what I do understand is that I am me and I'm going to do my best in my journey with Penny. Whether you guys appreciate it, enjoy it, like it or not. We're just going to be us, right Penny? And I just want to, and I just want to say that because... I saw a lot of people defending me in the comments and I feel bad that people feel like they have to defend me. I'm strong guys. I am stronger than you think and I am not going to let people saying mean horrible things deter me from my dreams. Don't you know that you're beautiful?